Hello, and welcome to the Stinson Point Reyes and Bodega. It's a sunny spring day here on the northern California coast with a decent breeze blowing in from the ocean. The Stinson Point Reyes and Bodega is my HO scale proto freelance layout modeling the northern California coast between the towns of Stinson Beach and Jenner. The railroad is set in the steam era sometime in the mid to late 1920s. At this point, the SPRMB is able to turn enough of a profit from freight to maintain its infrastructure and passenger service. The choice to model the steam era comes from a number of factors, namely the inspiration for the layout itself. When I was younger, I went to summer camp in Point Reyes where I fell in love with both the National Seashore and the greater area of the coast. Throughout the hike I took, I kept thinking to myself, hmm, this amazing scenery would look even better with the distant smoke of a steam train, and thus the concept was born. Construction on the layout itself began on January 1, 2020, with the tearing down of a previous layout in the same space. Much of the track and bench work of the previous layout was reused in the construction of the SPRNB. Track is made up of Walther's Code 83 Flex Track, and turnouts are Pico's Insole Frog 5, 6, and 7 curved. Once the pandemic hit, construction on the layout increased tenfold. Although there's still plenty of work left to do, I'm at a point where, as of the making of this video, track work is complete and most of the operational structures are in. Of course, I wouldn't have been able to build this layout without the help of my father, Eugene Palmer, and various other members of my local model railroading communities, such as Jim Providenza, Bill Kaufman, and John Schmidt. Even though the SPRMB itself never existed in real life, it is heavily inspired by various prototype railroads in the area, most notably the Northwestern Pacific and the North Pacific Coast Narrow Gauge Railroad. However, inspiration from other roads such as the Petaluma and Santa Rosa and California Western can be found as well. Along with the prototypes, the SPRMB carries a healthy dose of influence from both current and former model railroads in my area, such as Jim Providenza's Santa Cruz Northern, John Schmidt's Nicasio Northern, Dave Crozier's AB and Old C, and the late Don Cabral's Hessel and Lone Pine. I honor these modelers and their layouts by including representative pieces of rolling stock in my operating scheme. Speaking of which, the SPRMB was designed from the ground up as an operations-oriented railroad. I plan to host operating sessions in which a small group of operators will run trains according to the timetable and train order scheme and switch cars using car cards and waybills. A specific video covering the operations of the SPRMB will be coming in the near future. Let's take a tour of the layout. We begin at the southern terminus of the railroad, Stinson Beach. While the SPRMB is heavily inspired by the NWP, it operates as a north-south railroad, whereas the NWP, following SP's practices, ran east-west. Stinson Beach is currently home to a passenger depot, yard, engine service facility, and several industries including a lumber yard, oil dealer, PFE icing station, freight house, and railway express agency. Stinson Beach will eventually be home to a wharf in which passengers can catch a ferry into San Francisco and where logs can be offloaded onto waiting ships. Moving up the line to Alima, consisting of little more than a small depot, siding for stock pens, and a ranch house, this is my representation of the ranching industry in the Point Reyes area. A short distance further up the line is Point Reyes Station. This is the first proper town on the route north of Stinson. It's home to another oil dealer, Tamales Hardware, and a creamery which ships out reefers of dairy products, representing another local area industry. Out of Point Reyes Station, we run along the shores of Tamales Bay before heading inland to Keys Creek. We parallel Keys Creek heading up the canyon. This is the grade that leads to the second level. The bridge is a slightly modified vintage Bachman product. Before reaching the second level and Bodega Bay, the line crosses the trestle spanning Alamir Falls. I took some modeler's license for this scene as the actual falls is located much further south down the coast and flows directly into the Pacific Ocean, whereas here it flows into Keys Creek. I included this trestle scene because there was a gap that literally needed to be bridged, and I also thought the trestle would look nice. The bridge itself comes from a Walther's kit, as do most of the buildings on the layout. The concept of the layout gaining elevation without the use of a helix was something pioneered by the legendary layout designer John Armstrong in his book, Track Planning for Realistic Operations. After crossing Alamir Falls, the SPRMB reaches the town of Bodega Bay. The town is home to a passenger depot, team track, 
and freight shed. Bodega Bay is also home to a wharf where seafood products are loaded onto reefers as well as a future Coast Guard station. A short distance further up the line, we cross the mouth of the Russian River and enter Jenner, the northern terminus of the Stenson Point Rays in Bodega. A short distance further up the line, we cross the mouth of the Russian River and enter Jenner, the northern terminus of the Stenson Point Rays in Bodega. Jenner is home to the Pacific Lumber Company's mill, no intentional relation to the actual Pacific Lumber Company, where logs are floated down the Russian River from places such as Duncan Mills and Casadero and processed into board lumber. Long before the tourism trade, Jenner is a company town in the universe of the SPRNB. Jenner, being the northern terminus, is home to a three-track staging yard representing interchange with the Heslon Lone Pine Railroad and the outside world. I'll eventually add proper depots in Bodega Bay and Jenner, as well as some company houses and a scenic backdrop in Jenner to hide the staging yard. As far as the Coast Guard station at Bodega Bay, it will be scratch-built, most likely using styrene. As you can see, there's still plenty of scenery left to do. However, the main focus now that the track is in is making sure the railroad operates smoothly. That's about it for introducing the Stenson Point Race in Bodega. Stay tuned for the operations video plus more on the Model Railroad Operations YouTube channel.